Hi, my name is Mark de Roy. I'm a Dutch based photographer and in this video I want to show you how this picture can be improved. This picture was taken in a flower field uh, last month and in the Netherlands you have many flower fields and especially in the end of April and in May, uh, well, all the flowers are there and it's really amazing uh, to take pictures of all those flowers. Um, the first thing I want to do in this picture is I want to remove this part because this is the end of the flower field and it's a little bit distracting and also this flower here is also distracting. It's a different color than most flowers. Uh, it's the same color as this one but what I want is just one flower with a different color and then I don't need this part. So I want to crop the picture a little bit like this. Now we removed the upper part and this part can also be removed of course by cropping the left side. I press the enter key and as you can see um, the flowers are not completely straight uh, in the background. Uh, actually I prefer uh, to, to have it like this. Uh, with a di diagonal line, actually it's a kind of leading line also in this picture, so I, I really like it like this. Well, first of all I can improve the, the exposure of th this picture a little bit. Uh, it's not bad, but it can be improved. So I'm with the highlight a little bit, I take it a little bit down. Oh, around minus 40. Um, with this change you get a little bit more structure in, in, in the highlights and the highlights are mainly in this part, uh, the most important part of this picture. Um, then I also want a white point by pressing the Alt key and use the white slider I can see exactly when there is a white point. So whites are now on plus 22 and I have a few white pixels now so that's okay. Uh, I will do the same with the blacks. I also want some blacks and by doing this uh, the white sliders and the black sliders I'm adding some contrast as well in the picture. So I want to show you already quick before and after. It's a minor change. It's not big but it's a little bit better and I like it uh, the way it's right now. So what can we do more? Well, add a little bit of clarity. It works well for many pictures, uh, especially for, for landscapes and if there are a lot of details in the picture. So not too much, uh, just a little bit, that's enough. And also some vibrance. Further, uh, for the details, I add some sharpening and the best place to see what sharpening is doing is the flower, uh, of course. So I use the amount slider to add some sharpening and in this little box I can see exactly what happens. And another way to see what happens is by zooming into this picture to see it even better. So as you can see I add quite a lot of sharpening and that's possible for those kind of pictures. The only problem is uh, what I want to sharpen is the flower in this part of course and not the background because I like the smooth uh, background. So to avoid sharpening in the background I use the masking slider and by pressing the Alt key I can see exactly what's, uh, what is sharpened. Uh, now the, the picture is completely white and everything what is white is sharpened and as you can see if I add a masking like this only the flowers on the foreground are sharpened so that's better. Then uh, the noise reduction, well for that I go to the darkest part of the picture and this picture 
was taken with uh, ISO 100 uh, with a Nikon D800 so that camera has a pretty good uh, sensor so as a result there is no noise so I don't need the noise reduction for this picture well then we have the lens correction I always enable uh, the lens uh, profile correction and also chromatic aberration um, well the upright part uh, is not necessary for uh, for a picture like this uh, for a picture of a flower field actually I just use uh, this function for landscape pictures and mainly when there are buildings in the picture so I don't see buildings here the, so we don't need the upright function another uh, important thing to do for this picture is I want to get more attention on uh, the flower and I can do that with a radial filter and what I do and I increase the exposure for this part of the picture and I lower the exposure for the background and as a result um, eyes are always going to the, the brightest part of uh, the picture so by brighten this part even more and darken the background the eye is going to the flower automatically so for that I am using a radio filter um, exposure plus um, 0 0.6 and as you can see the result is the other way around now but by inverting the mask I get the result I want only problem is that the flower is too bright so I lower the exposure a little bit more and it's not a big change so this is the before this is after it's just a small change but it improves your picture so uh, I really recommend to use uh, this uh, this trick and the radio filter to get more attention to the most important parts of your picture Another thing I can do with this um, radio filter, I increase the exposure now, but what I can do also is um, the clarity. Um, I want clarity in this part and for this part it's not that important. So what I can do, clarity, if I increase it, well, the clarity will be increased in this part. I can decrease it, then you get a very, very soft um, very soft flower so and what I want I want more clarity in the flower not too much we already added some clarity for the whole picture uh, I add clarity plus 15 for the flower and one last thing I want to do in this picture is um, decrease the clarity for the background and I can do that with the, the brush I reset the brush and choose for clarity in minus clarity on what I can do now I can just paint over the background to soften the background even more and also here in the back of the foreground is not that important here so And if you think this result is too extreme, you can adjust the clarity now if you want. So it was like this, and you can soften as much as you want. And by softening this background, the, the flower on the foreground even pop ups uh, even more. And well, that's the result, and that's what you want uh, for those kind of pictures. And one last thing you can do, some people like it, some people don't like it. I like it a lot and that's the post crop vignetting. So by you can darken the corners a little bit. To get even more attention to this flower. So let me show you the before and after. This is the before, this is the after. As you can see, the flower is brighter 
uh, than this one. You can see even more details. The background is softer and well, if you compare those two pictures, as you can see um, in the right picture, uh, the, the flower pops up even more. It's better to have a picture like this than uh, the picture we had before. Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, in a few weeks I will make uh, another video about Adobe Lightroom and then I will edit another picture. Um, last week I made uh, another um, video about Adobe Lightroom so if you missed that video please check it out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date for all new videos.